So um, we're going to hear the letter. I'd like to introduce Rakaya, who's going to read it. I'm going to hold the mic for her. And I just urge you all to really listen to what these young people have to say. A month ago, we didn't know each other. We came into a room full of honesty, vulnerability, and a deep desire for change. We quickly realized we were all telling the same stories from different corners of the same country. We urgently need to tell those stories. We need you to really hear them. But above all, we need you to tell us, we need you to help us create genuine and long-lasting change. What we discussed struck to the heart of how it was to experience inequality, mental health struggles, class divides, and racial prejudice. We, country and city, north and south, found that our lives and futures were limited in the same ways. If what we're looking for is a better future, you need to understand our problems of the present. You too will listen to these stories. You will hear the pain and passion and courage of young people who have faced problems you may have never imagined. One of the inquiry themes is power. We don't want your pity. We want access to your resources to drive change. We stand united in wanting to protect our, our NHS. We hope you too have pride in an institution which has supported our society and looked after us from cradle to grave. <coughs> to us, it is a huge part of any future society we want to be a part of, but only if it is strong, compassionate, and able to address the challenges that face us today. We need to feel we have places to go to and people who care about us. According to UNICEF, we, as British youth, are the unhappiest teenagers in Europe. This cannot be acceptable, and we're dismayed by the fact that this has slipped out of the headlines as if it's not utterly scandalous. We're desperately unhappy, officially. We're crying out for youth workers and youth clubs and safe, caring adults and cultural activities and less academic pressure in the country that openly cares about its young. The talent on display in our youth forum has astounded us all. But without civil society, we wouldn't have met for this project and would have never articulated our emotions in a way that could make you listen or be able to understand it ourselves. Quality organizations in our local communities have changed all our lives and will continue to do so in a civil society that values young people as precious members of its community. We're all worried about the future. We grew up, perhaps naively, thinking our futures would see these troubles resolved. But now, in this moment of anxiety, in fighting, regression and distrust, let's use the values you put forward. Let's make this Brexit disruption an opportunity. We don't know what our government is going to be in six months' time. Brexit has changed the very foundations of our institutions. Let's remake our society with connection, trust, accountability, and power. We are willing and ready. Are you? But we won't feel uplifted if you take our emotions as just another case study and don't look or listen further. Trust us when we tell you this community of young people are angry and impatient for change, for authentic, compassionate leadership that allows all children to shine and to reach their potential that works harder to support young people in care, that doesn't stop at tolerating difference, but strives to actively embrace it and champion it. Finally, we ask you to give us more than limited last minute space to be seen and heard. Give up some of your power and share decision making with young people in to create a more hopeful and civilized future. We ask you now to consider and discuss together what you can do differently and how you can better engage with young people to give us a platform and opportunity to lead the change. Thank you.